Um, if you cannot place two outstretched palms in the litter box, it's not clean enough for me. So I go up to the litter box, and I'm not going to do it right now. Because <laughs> I'm not totally a germaphobe, but I just don't want to do that. But if you can't put, place two outstretched palms without hitting a clump in there, um, if you can't put them in there and not touch a clump or a piece of food, that's not clean enough for a fair number of cats. I would say most cats. Do I see it? lots and lots and lots of cats who can deal with that? Absolutely. But ideally, we don't want your either hand to touch a clump or a piece of food when you reach into it like that. If that is the case, even if it's like, well, yeah, it's that way after I come home from work, maybe you need a second box so that they have somewhere else to go to at that point as well. So that's the general rule because, um, and I say this, I finally came up with, okay, this is what it looks like is you should be able to put both hands in there outstretched because it tells me nothing. Um, I would do a lot of phone calls when I worked exclusively in behavior and it tells me nothing when you say, I ask you, well, do you clean it? Do you scoop it? And you know, you want to give the right answer anyway. <laughs> so you're like, every day. <laughs> Um, and I don't know what that looks like exactly. Every day when I think of it, um, every day except for my really busy work days, which happens to be three a week, um, almost every day, twice a day, um, I don't know what that looks like. But I know what that looks like. I 